So have you ever thought about doing an amazing interview with your guest out there which allowed you to build top relationship with your dream guest, having awesome conversations with them, be their friend as well in the long term. But for that, you're kind of stuck in asking the amazing questions that you could potentially ask to make their experience the best way possible. So guys, what's up? RJ here back in this video and in this video, we're going to be talking about the five mind blowing questions you could ask in order to make the experience better and also build a relationship even after your podcast or video interview. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel out there, be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to hit the notification bell on and let's talk about it. So if you actually don't know, I have a show called Interviews with Entrepreneurs where I interview entrepreneurs who are super awesome in their niches. I have interviewed over 80 plus 6, 7, 8 and 9 figure entrepreneurs on my show, collectively over $500 million worth of entrepreneurs. During the process of interviewing those entrepreneurs out there, what I really learned that interview is not alone the only method out there or process to build a relationship with those people out there. One of the most important thing is asking better questions in order to make their experience different and also nurture them later on as well. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the questions like the five mind blowing questions you could potentially ask to build that connection, build that experience so that you can leverage that in the long term. So the very first thing initially is when you get a guest on the show, be sure to ask their backstory. If you're, you and your audience particularly don't know about their backstory, be sure to ask their backstory as the first question to start about, you know, rather than ask, uh, you know, asking them like, hey, could you tell about what you do and all of those things out there, you can ask like, hey, can you tell us your backstory, how you got started in the space? So that is actually the first thing. The second thing is ask them, you know, what is they actually known for, like their core thing. You know, every particular person out there is known for one particular thing. You know, they're known for something out there. So if we talk about Russell Brunson, he's known for funnels. If we talk about Steve Larson, he, he's known about offers. So like for every particular person, they all, uh, you know, at one point get, you know, they're known for one main thing. So you can ask something about their core thing. So that is a second type of question you could ask and you can ask it uh, in this particular format. Like first thing is backstory. Second thing is their core thing. The third thing is something related to them on their personal level. So even though you have a business owner or if you have an entrepreneur on your show on, or on your podcast, they always something out there that is relatable to them on a personal level, either on a business and personal related mix or could be something different that is their personal interest like russell brunson loves wrestling you know he loves to wrestle he loves his family all of those things out there so you could potentially go and ask something around the thing that gives the personal touch you know it's your job as a host to make your guest comfortable with you and your audience so this is something out there that is crucial for that you have to ask something related to the personal level fourth thing initially is their current state of business you know even though every person is known for one particular main thing there's always something out there they are currently doing at the moment out there that they're currently working on by asking their current state of business what they are actually doing is you're providing them value you're asking like hey what's going on and how our audience can be the part of that thing as well. So you can go in and ask like their current state of business, like what they're doing, what they're working on at the moment or what their next goals are initially so that your audience get to know about that. Maybe the, become the part of it as well and all of those things. So their current state of business is initially the fourth thing. The fifth thing is make sure to ask them about their call to action. That is a must have thing. You've done the complete interview out there and you haven't you know, asked their call to action. You actually not provided one piece of value between the interview be sure to ask where people can find about you where people can follow you where people can be the part of your world all of those things should be the part of the ending section of the interview itself so let me run back five things that we talked about first thing is the backstory second thing is their core thing third thing is something related to them on a personal level fourth thing is their current state of business and fifth thing is their call to action so these are the five things are um, mind-blowing question frameworks that you could potentially go and use in order to create the experience for your guests differently, not only that, but also build the long-term relation. Now, if you're someone out there who actually want to learn the exact same process of how I do it, how I build the relationship with multiple seven, eight, and even nine figure entrepreneurs using my show, and also be able to, you know, have them promote my book, with your audience you can check it out the link in the description down below i have a course called the high ticket show accelerator which teaches you how to exactly do it but if you are someone out there who is making like multiple six seven and eight figures and you want to get all of these things done for you you know the podcast 
uh, the way of building the relationship like all of those things out there if you're making more than six figures per year there is a link down below you can book up a call with myself or my team out there and we can see like how we can help you out with it so thank you so much guys for watching out there and i'm definitely gonna see you guys with more interview and podcast tips out there until then peace out